As speech and language therapists, we think a lot about what's gone wrong with the body and the psychology behind that. But what we don't always think about is the spiritual aspects. I think about the person as a whole person, body, mind and spirit. My name's Dr. Sophie McKenzie and I'm the Programme Director for the MSc Speech and Language Therapy at City. City has a very large speech and language therapy department compared with others in the country. It's full of a staff who have amazing specialisms and people that you will have read papers that they've written are, are here and I'm working alongside them. I worked clinically as a speech and language therapist for 20 years. I carried a clinical caseload of mostly people with neurological conditions, so people who'd had a stroke, people who'd come into hospital, who had dementia. MSc in Speech and Language Therapy is a two-year full-time programme. The two years comprise various different modules, some modules which are specific to communication disorders. There are modules on motor speech disorders, aphasia, developmental language disorder, but also there are modules which underpin some of that more clinical learnings. We have modules in psychology, for example, lifespan studies, linguistics and phonetics. You have the opportunity to carry out some research in your second year. Tutors are there to suggest ideas for research projects and there's a project going on at the moment with a colleague who's looking at dating and brain injury. When you're a student on the course, you come into the university two, three times a week. But running concurrently with those are the placement modules. Students are normally out on placement once a week as well. They contextualise what they've been learning in the classroom through working in placements with a speech and language therapist. We have lots of contacts with various speech and language therapy services within London and the surrounding area and we make sure that students have a good breadth of experience throughout the two years. So they have some paediatric experience with children and some adult experience with adults with communication disorders. Students often say that placements is one of the best parts of the course because they're really doing the job. They're actually putting into practice the things that they've been learning, the theory that they've been learning. The job market at the moment is very good, so speech and language therapists are very much in demand. The vast majority of the students who come on the course and who graduate with us, they are eligible then to register with the Health and Care Professions Council as a speech and language therapist, and they'll go and work as, a, as an SLT in any number of different environments. Working with children, you might work in a community clinic or in a school or a special school. And working with adult clients, you might be working in an acute hospital or working with people with learning disability in care homes, working with people with dementia. The advice I'd give any potential or prospective student is do some voluntary work. So maybe contact the Stroke Association or Headway or your local school and see if there's some voluntary work that you can do to give you some experience of the types of clients we might see as speech and language therapists. There's something very rewarding about seeing people go from novices through to people who are really competent, autonomous, confident practitioners who are out there helping people with their communication problems.